Big Brag, day four, layover day in Carrollton. This morning you have a 17 mile ride. After that, you've got a plethora of options with stuff to do around Carrollton. And without further ado, I'll let Erica Studdard tell you all about Carrollton. My name is Erica Studdard and I am the Community Development Director for the City of Carrollton. When you're staying in Carrollton, um, you'll be staying on the City Schools campus. Carrollton City Schools campus is uh, essentially almost like a college campus. The facilities are first class. Uh, they just actually rebuilt the high school and completed it in the last couple of years. We will have shuttles that are running from downtown to uh, where we are now, the square. Adamson Square has transitioned uh, to a fairly thriving kind of entertainment district. So we have more than 20 restaurants located right here in downtown. I kid and say that we're the Epcot of, of uh, the dining world because it, just in downtown alone we have a Scottish restaurant, an Irish restaurant, an Italian restaurant, a couple of Mexican restaurants, an Asian restaurant, oh, a Brazilian restaurant. Uh, we have all sorts of uh, options when it comes to that. Uh, my favorite restaurant is probably Nama because I love sushi. <laughs> Uh, we also have an outdoor amphitheater where we offer free concerts and free movies. But it's worth spending your time right here where I am. Uh, this is where you know our kind of vibrancy is, is right downtown. Uh, you can grab food at one of the restaurants, grab a drink at one of the restaurants and go and listen to music. Um, you can walk around with everything while you're in the, the downtown district. I like to say we're a small town with a big city attitude. Uh, so we have a lot of the big city amenities. We also have in the Carrollton area, uh, some uh, recreational opportunities that are kind of unique to this area. We have the world's largest zip line at Baiting Mills. That's going to be a stop uh, for the, the Bragg group if they want to want to do an excursion. Um, but it's a pretty neat space. It's a historic um, mill site that they've turned into kind of an outdoor recreation area with zip lines and and uh, tree canopy tours and, and it's, it's just beautiful scenery as well. Um, we also have the Little Tallapoosa River, uh, where there are some kayaking opportunities, uh, kayaking canoeing opportunities. You know, the lake is actually our, one of our reservoirs, and uh, you can kayak and, and uh, fish, obviously, on the lake. So it's a very, very nice asset uh, right in the middle of town as well. Uh, and the Greenbelt does go right by it. Uh, one of our trailheads is right on the lake, actually. So the Greenbelt is uh, a project that we started working on in 2011. The trail itself is, uh, like I said, it's a little over 17 miles um, of, of it's a loop. It uh, surrounds the city and hits uh, a lot of the uh, major assets. So it hits the hospital system, jobs, neighborhoods, subdivisions, um, some commercial, two of our largest commercial areas. Uh, it hits the University of West Georgia. It hits the city school system. Um, so our goal was to tie it in. Uh, it's certainly a recreational trail. However, it is also used as transportation. So we were trying to make sure that we had some critical links that, that um, in the trail that would basically allow it to be a viable transportation option. And what a viable transportation option it is. Let me take you on a tour. <laughs> So we're out here on the green belt and riding the whole thing just makes you realize how awesome it is from a user perspective or even a tourist perspective you know it connects so much recreation from fishing tennis courts swimming pools plus the trail itself you know 17 miles of paved off the road access for pedestrians you can skate on it ride your bike whatever you want to do it's just a great trail and then from a community perspective you can really see how it just connects this whole community it's the glue it connects the colleges to all the uh, lower you know elementary middle high schools it connects churches to apartment complexes to businesses to retail to shopping uh, to industrial spaces I mean it really just if there's anything you need you can pretty much get it off the green belt <laughs> trail so it gets lots of use so just be careful because you're gonna face some pedestrians oncoming going the other way you may have to stop you may have to walk around them uh, but for the most part it'll be clear but do watch out for pedestrians here we are Lake Carroll very picturesque beautiful right off the green belt just again can't stop talking about this path, I probably should. There's other stuff to do in Carrollton too. Mm -hmm. 